All right, let's do it. Zero eleven here and today got a 10 second 10 1920 upper deck the cup hockey featuring six cards in here in any given box we're only guaranteed two autograph patch cards why the heck am i opening another one of these first off the decision was made a few weeks ago i would not be opening this if i bought this after i opened those sba boxes definitely wouldn't be opening this got this a few weeks ago planned this out a month ago but main catalyst to me opening another 10 of the cup as well the first one was lackluster af i'm going back to it similarly to upper deck premiere go check out that video right there Premier redeemed itself. Hopefully 1920 the cup does the same. And if I remember, I had to look up my own video to remember what I pulled, but not great RPA the Bastion. It was one color. And then the Reinhardt was nice. Gensel was fine. Bennington, like nice cards, but nothing that really wowed me if I'm being honest right there. Let's see if 1920 can redeem itself. Also, I want to throw up on screen some of the cards that have been pulled from this set. Some of the key noteworthy cards. I know the Makar Exquisite 101 has been pulled. The Suzuki Shield's been pulled. Makar Black 101 Auto has been pulled. There's some nice cards that have been pulled already. So I gotta keep that in mind when opening this. So there's that. Before I continue on, this 10 of the cup cost almost $1,100. Which ain't cheap, considering my expectations are pretty low. I had to pump myself up to even open this. Considering how rough certain breaks of 1920 have been recently, so... Yeah, the expectation, just have a better box than the first one. Don't forget, I didn't open this on release day. I sacrificed this to open 15, 16 SBA, which I don't regret. If somebody offered me a sealed box of that for this, do that in a heartbeat. But let's open up the cup and hopefully get something. Like, I'll take one really nice card instead of three quality cards so let's get right into it okay 1920 the cup oh geez and also a little side note every 10 of the cup i've opened has had this card in it connor mcdavid there of course that was the first time i ever opened the cup but it's been in the background in every video i just want to point out look at that background in 1718 what the heck did i do there i don't have those cards anymore i mean that turned into a sid future watch so it's fine with me all right but i guess that shows that i sell a lot of the pulls i get from the cup here we go we're trying this once again only six cards in here might have less we'll see might have a redemption in here, we'll see. But there's that nice padding in there. <coughs> okay, now let's get the box in the tin that's in the box open here. Ow, just poked myself. You would think I would have invested in box cutters by now, considering I've opened 3.6 million packs of cards. But no, still just use scissors. Okay, well, let's just reveal it right here. Okay. Okay, well, it doesn't seem too thick thick there why is that like that it's like on an angle there but oh let's just start with the base right there 187 of 249 base carry price that's a good base card to have right there of course we're not looking for base when you open the cup but quick little observation on the side there i can't tell what's going on it looks like there's six cards but let me try to get this out safely here <clears throat> come on Okay, so let me take price off there. Let's replace that with a dramatic reveal decoy here. Let's add another filler card here. This is tough when you can't look, right? I don't want to spoil anything, but here's your PA, by the way. We're just going right in. So, oh, wait. It's a redemption. Is my car a redemption? I might be. Um, I mean, there's a lot of redemptions in here, but let's see what it is. Cup base set. Oh, it's 249, so that's a negative. Card number 111. Okay, okay, Igor, expiration date 2023. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that card live yet. That's a good pull. So yeah, Igor RPA. There you go, there's the best pull of the box. Igor Shosturkin, he's a very good goaltender, but again, comparing the Russian goaltenders, I mean, why would you put money into him when you can put money into Andre Vasilevsky, who has already proven so much more and only a year older, so. But there you go, Igor, I'll take it. And before we continue on, to anyone that's interested in taking part in breaks, I mean, it looks like Skybox is finally coming out. Checklist is out September 1st, but check out YMM Breaks, a wide variety of weekly breaks, memorabilia giveaways, affordable pricing, and free worldwide shipping. So be sure to check out YMM Breaks. Links to eBay and Facebook below. All right, next card up here. So I don't think we're going to get a live RPA. What the heck is this? Ooh, got an exquisite patch. Of, it's Anders. Don't be Anders Lee. No, it's Oliver Wallstrom. Be a nice patch. Yeah, that's not too bad. Endorsement relics from Exquisite Collection. Oliver Wallstrom, 6 of 50. Promising player right there. He looked pretty good at points for the Islanders there. Didn't play in the playoffs a whole lot, but there you go. Three color patch. Looks like a logo patch for Wallstrom there. That's fine right there, I'd say. Decent pull. There you go. Okay, next card up here. It's really a pain managing these cards without looking, but we already got our two patch autos. Looks like we got, what are these called? These are the, not enshrinements. It's the other one where it's like a shadow box, isn't it? Brilliance, perhaps? Uh... Uh, Buffalo. Uh. What's that guy's name? Oh, geez, it's a U.S. guy, right? Oh, what's that guy's name? I'm drawing blanks. Why am I drawing blanks? Pat LaFontaine. Ugh. There you go. Brilliance. Nice looking card there. These are nice gold ink right there. Brilliance. Pat LaFontaine. Look at that auto right there. The gold ink. 
Very nice card there, LaFontaine. Ah, there you go, nice card there. So four cards, four nice pulls. We only have two cards left. Looks like we have a RPA or maybe just a patch here. All right, let's reveal the last card here and we'll reveal that. I think it's one of these draft class cards. Who is that? That is, is that Kako? There you go, got a Rangers box, Capo Caco, rookie class of 2020. First round pick, second overall for Caco there, so 73 or 249. I mean, the Rangers are interesting. They got Gerard Glant now, added Ryan Reeves and guys like Barclay Goodrow. They're kind of afraid of Washington, I guess. We'll see how they do. They're an exciting team. I'm expecting guys like Caco and Lafreniere to get more ice time. A guy like Bushnevich is out, so maybe Caco gets more time. We'll see. So yeah, there you go. That's all. I mean, this team's been pretty good. Let's finish it off here with a RPA. Could just be a patch here. 20 who is that of that is kale flurry i am not with it today so it might just be a patch he, no it's not even a patch 77 to 249 kale flurry him and hayden on seattle cracking there so there you go defenseman for the habs now seattle cracking so yeah guys there's a tin of the cup that was solid i actually have no idea what that goes for it's probably overpriced as heck so i mean this tin was probably pretty good because of that but other than that i mean the lafontaine brilliance is a nice card same with wallstrom there but yeah the igor really saves this tin like that's one really good pull there do i redeem it and hope to get a nice uh, rangers patch or do i just flip it right off the bat and get a card I want, but we shall see. I still need his future watch. That should be the number one priority, but yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. Skybox looks like it's finally coming out. Looks like there's gonna be retail for it. What the heck? An E-Pack? Yeah, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Let's do this. Uh, there's your cards. Um, I'm nervous. Okay, first card, Victor Arvidsson. Okay, here is the rookie patch auto. 59. It's not a good name, is it? 59. Uh, Formentin. All right, first card. Alex Formentin, rookie patch autograph. Uh, next card up, and geez, I'm nervous. Uh, is it this way? Rookie auto patch of number 22. Is that Walker? No. That's uh, it's Madison Bowie, or Bowie. That's kind of lame. Exquisite collection. Ooh, that's number 22, and it has a nice patch. At least there's that. Next up, I can't see the bottom part. We got here. We got an enshrinement. Oh, we got the flower. Oh, man, look at that. Mark andre Fleury, that's nice. So I don't think we're going to be getting a mega hit in here. We're going to get some quality stuff, but nothing too big. Mark andre Fleury, Enshrinement's Autograph. Two more cards. What do we got? Oh, we got another RPA. Eric Comrie? Eric Comrie, number 28. Oh, it's just a rookie patch? That's lame. I guess uh, Patrick and Heischer will look like this. Okay, next up. This might just be a base rookie. 63. Why am I drawing blanks? I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is that, what's his face? I don't know. It's just a base rookie of Kevin Ro or Kevin Wah. He's French. Base rookie of Kevin Wah. There you go. Kevin Wah. So yeah, guys, there's a tin of the cup. No Connor McDavid this time.